good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon no energy i can understand lunch coming up so um there is good news and there is better news good news is i have no slides and the better news is i'm not going to talk about analytics i'm going to talk about career and having learned about analytics and disruption and gen ai for so long i thought it'd be good for all of you to understand a little bit about how do you handle your career i have reached a stage in my life when i have little to learn and more to give so i try to do that whenever i get an opportunity to speak to a lot of youngsters which i can see here uh, also very conscious that we have lunch coming up so um, i'll keep it use the kiss principle which is keep it short and simple i spent some time um, on both sides of the table on the on the side of the gcc and on the other side as well and uh, very early in my career somebody came and told me that careers do not happen you make it it stuck with me and i started to always figure how do you make it there is no claim to say that i have really made a big career but i'm just letting you know for people like you who will make a better career so how do you make it by creating an impact at every opportunity that you get and when i got into gcc i was actually trying to search how do you make an impact because my earlier days in my career was investment banking and if you have ever met a trader or if you have watched the wolf of wall street you would know that apart from the drinking and the other vices that they have they're also very good with their numbers and given the pnl uh driven business that we do making an impact is very simple either you do it or you don't do it when i came to gcc it took me a while to figure out how do you create impact by the way i am that dinosaur you know who um have been associated with these from the time when we were called captives from that servility we moved to uh, some sort of a leadership role from captive to global in our center to today more of competence or capability centers so in gcc those days clear servility right so it's you know we are the parent company and you are somewhere out there you are you know a lot of us versus them a lot of uh, uh, outpost conversation so over there how do you really find a place for yourself so i identified three areas and i don't know whether you guys will agree with me number one every gcc regardless of whatever industry we are talking about there are tons and tons of data sitting there the second thing that i found was this is one place in that company including their head office where most of the or almost all of the functions are co-located so you have an opportunity to actually understand the bigger picture much better than anywhere any other offices that they may have and the third every gcc almost every month would have one of those days when there is a visit coming up right there's somebody from some corner especially in the uh, winters in india you would find several people coming and visiting so these three were the opportunities that i saw and i tried to combine the three to try and see how we can make an impact with so much data obviously the idea is how do you make them an information um i can give you an example uh, the classical data that you look at in, at least historically we used to only look at data inside the firm then we started to look at data outside the firm and then we started to do social listening and all of this together can actually give you the kind of ammunition which definitely gets you a seat at the table case in point uh when covid happened there was a customer of ours you would know their name but i won't tell you them uh who have a collaboration tool team tool like team zoom webex and they said that look we would like to know what feature of ours people like and what feature of ours people do not 
and equally with the competitors, what's going on. So usual stuff, which is do a primary survey, check it from your clients, then do some desk research. But then we went into social listening, which is trying to figure out what are people chatting about these kind of collaboration tools. Consequent to all of this, which is bringing the primary, secondary, and the social listening, you could actually give an insight which helped the product, product development team to think of their roadmap. Now, that's the power of data that any one of us can do, and there are umpteen number of cases. But sitting in a GCC, this is possible to do if you combine research and analytics. Because all the firms are sitting together, getting the big picture is so much easier in GCC that you can always find an opportunity to give insight to the parent firm which I don't think anybody actually has a view of. Understanding a simple, in my, in my Deutsche days, I'll tell you, uh, we found a process, right, which was transitioned from Singapore, which had 14 people doing that process in Singapore, which was sent to India, asking one FT to do it. So what you know is everybody's, every rubbish that they didn't want to do actually packed it up, and they checked the box by saying, hey, we have done a transition, but it really landed with one guy who would obviously fail. So getting this big picture, uh, understanding the different firms and connecting them, I think is a very powerful way of doing this. And finally, when it comes to the visits, the visibility that you get, very brief, right? But in that, in that opportunity, the business intelligence plays such a big role. To be able to make that impact in that shorter time is again a power which from a GCC which you can do, bringing in whichever BI tool you're using and bringing in whatever data and MIS you want to do. But I have always found that these three things combined can be a very, very powerful combination that really helps people uh, propel their career in the, this sort of uh, organization. Finally, um, if you look at a triangle, there are three topics to think of from a GCC standpoint, right? There is research that you could do. There is uh, technology like predictive AI, gen AI you can do. And then there is the newest kid on the block, which is sustainability, which you can think of. Every large company now wants to get into the radar of an asset manager who is managing a green fund or a dark green fund. Increasingly, exchanges are getting into an index where companies with high sustainability ratings are coming up toppers. So therefore, these three things are real pivot positions that people can take from GCC. And if you now go to the center of the triangle, that's where the actionable insight can come out. That's what gives you the seat at the table to be able to drive all these thoughts and the uh, opportunities that you would identify. So that's pretty much what I had to say, and I'm very intrigued to hear what Fatima has to talk about mine, because she has some lovely words for every speaker. Uh, with that, over to lunch, and lovely meeting you. Thank you.